Ladies and gentlemen, we are now leaving Steinbach. That's right. Got us a uh, load going to uh, Tondawanda, New York, which is there by Buffalo area. Yeah. So a little bit tight schedule, but uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. I want the load to be there Wednesday morning. Yeah, so that's going to be a little challenging, but other than that, uh, we haven't been feeling good this morning and all day pretty much yesterday. I'm hoping as the day progresses that I will be able to feel better. I don't like going out like this, but uh, what can I do, you know? Sometimes you feel sick. Or sometimes you are sick and today is my day that's right I'm having to go to the washroom a few times yesterday and already twice this morning yeah that's not a good feeling that for sure that's for sure it's never a good feeling when you have to do that But that's part of life. Every once in a while you get sick or you get an upset stomach. That's what happens, but uh, as you guys can see, it's been the snow has been melting rapidly here over the last week. I mean, I've been home now since last week. Uh, Thursday today is Monday and so that's when you would have seen me come back home you know there was still a lot more snow than there is right now and the roads have been really wet and a lot of water running down the roads here for the last couple of days so Probably another week and we won't see any snow at all if it continues like this. That's right. But uh, anyways, we are going to continue cruising along here. We got about an hour and 15 minutes to the border. We'll be crossing Rosa border again today. We'll have to see is the see if the DOT is going to be over there. Lately, I haven't seen him there, but uh, you never know. Sometimes he surprises you, you know. That's just it. Sometimes they'll surprise you, and that's the best way they get people, right? Is to surprise them. Well, we did our we did have our truck in the shop there this last. Well, I brought it there Thursday and Friday evening it was done. So Saturday I went, no actually Friday night I went and picked it up. And they rebuilt my fifth wheel. Did a couple of other small things to it like a grease job. Got the oil filter and the diesel filters changed. We should be good to go for a while. Yeah, so the fifth wheel has been rebuilt. We have some new slack adjusters on there. As far as I know, the safety uh, inspection should be done now. But we should be good to go now for a while. 
That's the plan anyways, unless other things break, but uh, that's my goal for right now. This Penners requires us to do a inspection there every six months, so uh, that's what we just got done and uh, hopefully they managed to fix everything that was supposed to be fixed. That way we will be good to go for a while. But it's a beautiful morning out here today. Nice and sunshine, it's not cold at all. I just wish I feel a little bit better. Other than that, everything is fantastic. I'm hoping that you guys like the way I've been tightening my videos lately. I figured I would go with something a little different, change it up a little bit. Because the tightening sometimes can be really difficult, you know. And so a lot of times, you know, a lot of people just look at the title and say, Oh, that title doesn't seem like it's an interesting title. So I figured, you know, maybe I'll just change it up to uh, have vlog number so-and-so and then just our daily journey or I'm sort of debating on what I'm exactly going to call it yet. I'm going to have to ask you guys, I guess. I'm sort of thinking about just leaving it as our daily uh, journey or my daily trucking journey or something like that I don't know I like kind of like the uh, our daily journey or my daily journey or something like that. that that sounds like to me that that fits for me but I don't know what you guys think but uh, I figured that way if I change the title whatever then the title is always going to be the same except for the vlog number so if you look at the vlog number, that's how many videos I have on YouTube. Yeah. So then, uh, you have to watch the video in order to find out what's in it. <laughs> yep. That way it doesn't give it away on what exactly it is, you know. Hopefully you guys will be okay with that. With that being said, we'll continue on with our journey here and we'll show you what we can today. Thanks for watching today for those of you that tuned in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are now officially in the United States of America. It got quite foggy here for a little while, so I didn't videotape it right away as soon as I got across the border. But uh, hey, the DOT was not there today, so we were very happy to see that. At least we didn't have to waste time in there. Since we've been uh, repairing a lot of stuff on the truck lately, it uh, probably wouldn't have found anything wrong with the truck any of us, right? Maybe with the trailer, but since I'm not maintaining the trailer, it's not my job to do that. It's my job to inspect it, make sure it's good, but uh, that's about it. Let Penners know that something is wrong if something is wrong. That's my job, and it's their job to fix their part. But my truck should be in pretty good shape since I spent all this money here in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I spent about $7,600 last week and I don't even know what my bill is here from this last time yet because uh, I didn't pay it yet. I went there in the evening to pick up the truck and he was already gone so we're going to pay him when we come back next time. So it's probably going to be another few hundred dollars. I wouldn't be surprised. But anyways, we are, I think, very close to this one little uh, town up here where I always stop at. Almost always. Today will probably be no different. We'll make a pit stop in there and then uh, maybe grab me a bite to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Didn't really eat much at all yesterday. I think I had two apples and I think two bananas. And a little bit in the, in the morning there of the leftover turkey and a few small items in there, but that was it. That was it. So we haven't had much to eat yesterday at all. I just wasn't hungry at all. I just couldn't force myself to eat anything yesterday. But now we're starting to get hungry, so that's usually a good sign. That means you're starting to feel better. Yeah. 
anyways, we'll continue on with our journey and uh, we'll show you what we can, right? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we've been cruising now for a good while already. We already went uh, through Superior, Duluth, all that stuff. I was kind of on the phone while I went through there, so I wasn't able to show you anything there, but uh, here we are, just cruising right along here. We are now in the uh, Rice Lake, Wisconsin area. <clears throat> and I guess my throat is a little dry. But yeah, we are about 65 miles away from I-94. So we're going pretty good on time here, so uh, I'm starting to feel better now too. I don't feel as weak as I did earlier, so we should be uh, should be able to get some good time in tonight here, I think anyways. Don't know exactly how far we're going to make it, but uh, the goal would definitely be making it past Black River Falls, but uh, we'll have to keep our fingers crossed on that. We'll have to see how that goes. But anyways, just figured I would give you guys a short little update here on how the process is going and how everything has been Everything's been running smoothly all day long. Scale was closed up there, Superior. They're not open yet. Looks like they are getting close, but uh, they're still closed. So that's good. I mean, we do have a light load, right? So we only have 13,000 pounds in the box. But we are very light, so we shouldn't have to worry about weight, being overweight. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along and we'll be right back. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is the next morning. Yes, and we are here at a uh, Blue Beacon here at the Petro in uh, Portage, Wisconsin. Yeah, and I just woke up here a few minutes ago and I figured out well, there probably shouldn't be a long line up here because it's only like 6.15 in the morning a.m. And uh, yeah, there's only one truck there and uh, and a truck wash there. So uh, figure out, well, I'll go go in there and get my truck washed. Uh, haven't had my truck washed in a good while, so uh, figure out, well, I'll go in here and get my truck washed. And meanwhile, uh, we'll get ready to get out of here. But uh, anyways, I figured I would close my today's show actually. Yeah, we did pretty good in hours yesterday. We uh, maxed out our 11 hours, made it up here to Portage. And uh, had us a good night's sleep. Now we are ready to start the next day. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed our little clip, little video. And we'll see you again tomorrow. So have a good one, everybody. behind me that day is gonna come